Hi everybody, I'm Pascal and welcome to Thomas Drum Bash. Today it's all about drumsticks and how to pick your perfect pair. Drumsticks are the direct link between the player and the drums, so it makes sense to spend some time and find the pair that's right for you. Every drummer has their own sound and preferred feel, which makes drumsticks a very individual choice. There are endless options, so today, instead of going through all of the sticks that there are, I'm going to give you more of an overview and a guide which will help you try and pick your sticks. Let's start by looking at the factors that define a drumstick and how they relate. The first factor that defines a drumstick is its length. So from here to here, how long is the stick will change also the balance. Um, a longer stick will give you more reach, so you can get to cymbals more easily, but it will also give you more top heaviness because the stick is longer and will more naturally play its way into the drum but have less rebound. The thickness of the stick, this diameter of the stick, changes especially the weight of the stick. So for instance, if we um, take a stick and make it thicker, behind the, the fulcrum of the stick there will also be more weight and it will balance it out again. It will also be more durable and generally be used more for rock type of playing. The length and the thickness of the stick together create the balance of the stick. So is the stick top heavy or does it have more rebound? This part of the stick where it gets thinner is called the taper and if a stick starts to become thinner already here it's going to have more rebound and be less top heavy. If it has a later taper, a higher taper, um, it's going to be more top heavy. So it's important to find the right balance with the taper, length and thickness of the stick. Then there are also different finishes. So this for instance is a natural finish, but there are also finishes where they add some lacquer to the outside of the stick. Some sticks also feature a rubber grip for increased grip on your hand. Some also don't have anything on them at all, so they're very uh, rough and abrasive. They can tear up your hands, but it can also lead to more grip. And then there are also finishes that are just visual. There are sticks that are flamed and they look very pretty, but that doesn't really do anything to the feel of the stick. Different woods can have a big impact on the feel of the stick and also the sound. There are actually three main types of woods that are used for drumsticks. The first one is hickory, it's the standard middle of the road wood. It's uh, medium heavy, uh, medium stiff. On the stiffer and heavier side there is oak and then there is also maple which is very light and flexible. So for instance if you like the length and thickness and feel of a stick but you want less weight with it, you can for instance go from hickory to maple. The last factor is the tip of the stick. So there are different shapes of tips and you will notice especially on cymbals, on ride cymbals, that there is a big sound difference between, for instance, a standard teardrop tip like this, or a round tip, or even a nylon tip. So to demonstrate the difference, I will now play something on this cymbal and change tips. So we have the Promark Hickory Rebound 5A as the standard stick. Then I have the Finesse 5A, which has a round tip. And then we have the Rebound 5A with a nylon tip. And I'll show you the difference. The 5A is the middle of the road stick. It's offered by all companies, um, but there are also many, many different models. And 
uh, for comparing drumsticks, there is actually a pretty cool tool on the Thoman website called the Wood Picker. So let's have a look inside of that and compare some sticks. So here we are at the Wood Picker. Like I said earlier, the 5A is kind of the middle of the road stick. So let's go ahead and select 5A. And as you can see, a lot of different 5A variations appear. Let's see what happens if we increase the thickness or the diameter. As you can see, now we end up with a 5B. A lot of 5B variations. But as you can see, a 5B is basically a thicker 5A. Because a 5B is a thicker 5A, it's also heavier and more suited for rock music. Um, but that goes at the expense of finesse and rebound. So if we want more finesse and a lighter touch, we can go ahead and change the diameter in the other direction and go thinner. So as you can see, now we end up with a 7A stick. And a 7A stick, I also have one behind me. Um, 7A stick is very well suited for lighter playing, also for smaller hands because it's thinner and it will give you a lighter touch and is more suited for jazz type of playing. So now if we go to the extreme and take a very, very light stick, very, very thin, we end up with a Vic Firth AJ5, which I also have here. It's a very thin stick. It's also a bit longer than a 5A. So it's very light and uh, has a very fine cymbal sound. If we go the other way and increase the diameter and the length to the extreme, diameter and length and punch. You can see some of these sticks that are, um, you know, rock sticks. And one example for a very thick and long and heavy stick is the Vic Firth Christoph Schneider signature stick. And that stick is very long and heavy. So it's very top heavy, goes into the drum and doesn't have a lot of rebound, um, but that's what rock players often uh, need. So as you can see, all of these factors that define a drumstick have to be balanced and you have to find a compromise because not every stick um, can fulfill every aspect perfectly, but um, they relate to each other and you have to find the right balance. The perfect stick is the stick that makes the right compromise for you, for your playing and your sound, what you want to do. So I hope this guide will help you find your perfect pair of drumsticks. Also, tell us in the comments what type of drumsticks you like for which kind of music. And also subscribe to this channel for more videos like this to come. And leave a like and see you next time. Bye.